what motherboards will be compatible with AMD's new Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 CPUs, there's certainly a variety that may work and may not work. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you enjoy the content, want to hear more about Zen 3, different GPUs, PC gaming hardware. So let's get right into it. So Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 CPUs are going to be releasing on November 5th. And with that, there's going to be a lot of people asking if their motherboard will be compatible. Now, over the last several years, there's been a huge shift of people coming in from Intel to AMD. So a lot of people bought into the AMD ecosystem, which is known as the AM4 platform, as opposed to Intel, which has like the LGA 1151, as opposed to something like Intel's Z390, which would be LGA 1151. So one huge benefit of people who have bought the different Zen 1, Zen 2, Zen 3 CPUs is that for the most part, they've worked on almost all of the motherboards. Of course, when the Ryzen 3000 came out, some motherboards did need a BIOS update in order to be fully functional with those new CPUs. But after that update, they did work. AMD even sent out really cheap CPUs to people because you need a CPU in order to be able to access your BIOS to even be able to update it to put in the new chip. Now we stand here with Ryzen 5000 coming out. There's been so many people that have bought into the AM4 ecosystem. Maybe they have the newer X570 motherboards, X470, even X370, and they want to know, is their motherboard going to work with the new Ryzen 5000 CPUs? And these are going to be at least announced so far, the Ryzen 5600X, which is a six core, 12 thread CPU at 299. Of course, then we have the 5800X and the 5900X. These are going to be eight core and 12 core respectively. And the big bruiser of the bunch is going to be the 5950X 16 core, 32 thread so now the 5950x technically is called the gaming king for now it did beat intel's 10 900k so you can see why a lot of people will want to upgrade to the new ryzen 5000 cpus one major benefit that people are going to see that's going to be in gaming zen 3 amd is flat out completely targeting gamers and enthusiasts for this upgrade pretty much all of the major upgrades that have occurred over something like the ryzen 3000 series have to do with the architecture and how it affects gaming such as better ipc higher boost clocks as well as lower latency everything that intel used to have amd now has it as well so they have not only great multi-threaded performance but also great single core gaming performance in order to remain competitive and beat intel where it matters and that's going to be in the gaming segment so having said that what's the story on motherboard compatibility with the new ryzen cpus let's say when they're released november 5th let's go down the line amd even has a like a little chart showing you what's going to work and what isn't. Let's start right at the top. Of course, X570 and the new B550 motherboards will work pretty much out of the box. I think most likely you will need a BIOS update to take advantage of most of the features, but I believe you should be able to even boot into your BIOS with the current BIOS that you have now, as long as it's the newest BIOS that's out before these new CPUs come out. So before upgrading your Ryzen 3000 CPU, make sure to just update your current BIOS to the latest that's available. So that way, when you actually Actually get your hands on these new CPUs, they'll be able to pop right in and there will be subsequent BIOS updates later, but those will mostly be optimizations because full functionality should certainly happen pretty much right away. That's if you have the X570 or B570 motherboards. Of course, these are the more advanced motherboards. They're gonna have PCIe generation four, which of course gives you much faster speeds with NVMe drives. And of course, in the future could also play a role with the new GPUs because PCIe generation four, the new RTX GPUs will support them. Right now, there's certainly not that big of a performance gap between generation four and three but as time goes on and these gpus get more and more powerful certainly it will start to become a factor so basically if you have a newer x570 b550 you'll be able to pretty much drop the new ryzen cpus right in of course these are going to be one of the fastest upgrades just a drop-in upgrade without having to change your whole ecosystem this certainly is fantastic news just remember that in the future whatever the next zen 4 or whatever is released after i believe that this is going to be the last 
last Ryzen that's going to work on X570 and B550. So most likely when the next generation eventually comes out, you may have to upgrade your motherboard. But for now, Ryzen 5000 will work on X570. So if you're going to be buying a new motherboard, try to get one of these newer X570 or B550 motherboards. And if you already have one from Ryzen 3000, you'll be able to upgrade without any issue pretty much right at launch. Now, the other set of motherboards here that a lot of people have, that's going to be the B450 and the X470. Now, these are going to be a lot more complicated because they're not going to be fully supported at launch. According to AMD, there will be beta BIOS updates coming in 2021. So if you have an X470 or B450 motherboard, you may have some trouble running the Ryzen 5000 CPUs. And by trouble, I mean basically not at all until the BIOS is updated. Now, like I mentioned before, X570, B550, basically 500 series motherboards are going to work without basically any issues at all, and they will be getting optimized updates in the future. But X470, which is the previous generation, and the B450, while they will work, and if you remember a few months ago, there was a big commotion in Hoopla about Ryzen 5000 not working on them at all. That's since been cleared up or AMD changed their mind, so it will work on X470 and B450. But just remember, it's not going to work right away. So if you wanted to get a Ryzen 5000 CPU and a cheap 400 series motherboard, just know that you're not going to be able to use them right away. You're going to have to do the 500 series or you're going to have to wait until early 2021. Hopefully they start releasing these by January. You're going to have to wait before you can even have any compatibility at all. And now to further make matters a little bit complicated, these BIOS updates, if you see AMD's wording, is, are going to be selective BIOS updates. That means that they're going to vary not only by manufacturer, but they're also going to vary by the each individual motherboard. That means that let's say Asus could choose just to do a BIOS update on some of their higher end X470 motherboards and maybe not B450, while maybe MSI could do B450 and maybe just a few X470 motherboards. Well, this adds another bit of complication to the matter. We're going to have to wait until an actual compatibility list is fully released right now we don't really know 100 percent there haven't been everything released so i'll make sure to update you guys whenever that's released for x470 as well as the b450 we'll be able to see which motherboards are actually left out it's possible that some of the lower end motherboards may not get these bios updates but at least some will and you can assume if you have a pretty popular motherboard like maybe an asus strix or something like that like an x470 you can pretty much almost guarantee you're going to get that beta bios update in order to be able to upgrade to Ryzen 5000. And of course, the new X470 motherboards do have some limitations compared to the newer 500 series. Namely, I think the biggest one is going to be PCIe Generation 4. And like we mentioned before, that's not a really big deal. If you have a high-end X570 board, of course, it's going to be able to deal with the new Ryzen 5000 CPUs a lot better than something from X470, just because X570 generally seem to get a lot better and higher-end motherboards that have better cooling better VRMs. So in general, you are better off with a 500 series motherboard, but if you do have a 400 series motherboard, you may be able to run Ryzen 5000 depending on the selective motherboard that they choose to support. But remember, this is only going to be coming in 2021. So for now, if you want to run Ryzen 5000, make sure to get yourself a 500 series motherboard. Anything else, you're going to have to wait. That may not make that big of a difference if stock is really limited. It's possible that even people that want the Ryzen 5000 they may not be able to get it until a few months anyway when it's January and these updates are out. But in general, at least hopefully in some quantities, they will be released November 5th. And that's going to first go to the people on the 500 series motherboard. Now, anything below X470 and B450, like A320 or anything like that, those are not going to work. Or X370, those are completely X'd out. There probably won't be any sort of BIOS updates, beta or not, that will make Ryzen 5000 work on them. So if you have anything below the 400 series, I would pretty much just think about upgrading if you want Ryzen 5000. As according to AMD right now, those certainly will not work. So you're basically looking at 500 series for almost instant compatibility with minimal BIOS updates or the 400 series with a delayed beta BIOS launch in order for you to run these new Ryzen 5000 CPUs. All right, guys, I hope this answered a couple of questions. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And as soon as we know more, I'll definitely update as soon as we know the exact motherboards that we'll use. Hopefully they'll put out a list. Remember to subscribe for more content, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.